Hello, I'm Adil Wadkar from Algorithmic Electronics. I have seven years of experience in IoT and intangible interaction design. During the journey, I have conducted more than hundreds of workshops and seminars for engineering college students as well as for engineering college faculties. I have also worked as visiting faculty at VIT, Bharti Vidyapeet, MIT ATD University, and University of Petroleum and Energy Studies for the courses like IoT, physical computing, and tangible interaction design. Currently, I am writing a book on IoT using Arduino and Raspberry Pi, and I will be the instructor for the Python programming course. So, without wasting any time, let's get started with programming using Python. Before I go into the details of Python programming, its syntax, and all, let us understand what exactly programming means. So, what is the programming? In a simple language, programming means giving instructions to an electronic machine. So, what is electronic machine? Electronic machine can be your computer, it can be your laptop, it can be your mobile phone, automatic door opener system, it can be automatic hand dryer machine, television or even a simple calculator. All these are the examples of electronic machine and the process of giving instructions to electronic machine is nothing but programming. Now the next question with this discussion arises is that why do we need to give instructions to electronic machine? Why do we need to program an electronic machine? Well, because we want that the machine should work for us. For example, we want the calculator should solve some mathematics for us. We want the automatic door opener should open the door for us as soon as we arrive in front of the door. Even we want the mobile application such as WhatsApp should send a message to our friend. So that's the reason why we program an electronic machine because we want the machine should work for us. The job of the machine is to follow instructions given by programmer. For example, programmer can instruct automatic door opener to open the door when somebody arrives in front of it. So computer or any other machine reads the instructions given by the programmer line by line and performs actions accordingly. So I am talking about giving instructions to an electronic machine. So if I have to give instructions to an electronic machine, I should give instruction in a language which machine understands. Then what kind of language machine understands or what kind of language the computer understands? Well, the most of you will say the computer understands a binary language or it understands the language of ones and zeros. But what exactly ones and zeros are? Technically speaking, one means plus 5 volt or high voltage and zero means zero voltage or low voltage. So the computer understands the only the language of voltage and current or any other electronic system such as automatic door opener system, television or anything understands the language of voltage and current. So if I have to give instructions to a computer or if I have to program a computer or an electronic machine, I should write instructions in a language of voltage and current. But that could be very much difficult for me because I am not familiar with the language of voltage and current. So what I will do? Consider a situation. You have to speak with a Japanese person and you don't know Japanese. And at the same time, the Japanese person don't know English. So what you will do? You will use a translator in between who will convert your language to Japanese and Japanese language back to English. Similarly, when I have to program a computer or when I have to program an electronic machine, I have to use a translator. Now this translator is not a human being, it is a computer software which will translate your language to a machine language or the language of voltage and current. You have used translator software while doing programming. All compiler softwares are the examples of language translators. Then you may ask, if we have language translators, we have compiler softwares which can translate your language to a machine code, why can't we use English language for computer programming? Well, consider a simple English language statement. I saw a boy on hill with telescope. This statement is grammatically correct. There is no mistakes in this particular statement. But what does it mean to you? The number one meaning of this statement is there is a boy on hill. The boy is having a telescope and I am watching him. 
The second meaning can be there is a boy on hill I am watching him with my telescope so the English language is quite confusing there is no unique meaning of each and every statement in English language it requires a complex analysis and context to understand for human beings it is easy to understand but for a machine this is not suitable language for programming in case of machine programming we need a language in which every statement has got a unique meaning that's the reason we have developed many programming languages such as c java python and so on so that's all about for today's session in the next session we shall discuss about the importance of python programming and why we should use and choose the python as a programming language over other programming languages such as c and java till then enjoy programming and to join this course please click the link in the below description thank you